What? <laughs> Come back to bed. Excuse me. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're watching some more Outlander Red Season 4 episode 13. It's the last episode of this season. Very fitting because we're going to be finishing season 4 in 2022. First episode of season 5 is going to be in 2023. I would like to say that I planned this but I really didn't. <laughs> but it's so cool. We blew up the prison thing and like i said i'm pretty sure well not sure because i truly don't know but i have a feeling that bonnet is gonna have escaped because we put too much focus on him like trying to reach the keys and then you know just ah uh, and now he knows that she's pregnant and he gave her something so i have the feeling that he would want that back because he thought he was gonna die so if he escapes He's still gonna need some kind of, you know, he said for his maintenance or something like that, for like, for the baby. But then if he's gonna live, he's, he's like, oh, well, I want that for myself, like I, for my maintenance, you know, fucking rat. So uh, without waiting any longer, let's just jump back into it and finish season four. Oh, uh, please excuse my face. Um, I literally just cried. <laughs> <laughs> because I was watching Supernatural and uh, they made me cry. Sons of bitches. So yeah, just, uh, I'm fine. So please, Outlander, don't make me cry. Who am I kidding? <laughs> of course I'm gonna cry. I really hope not, but... Jamie? They found them. Don't attack, though. Come in peace. Any sign of Roger? Ah, oh, she's so no. beautiful. We'll walk a camera here. Should make our way into the village soon. Yes. Rolo. Best dog. A word goes to Rolo. About that guy we sold you. You're gonna need him back. <laughs> Scan. Come to trade. Nicky Longwe. How good, sir? It's so mean. Wadadum. Gilongwe. Laya, Dale. He's so good. Oh my god. Oh. I will return this to you. If you return the man to me. Why? It was a what mistake. Is that you would come all this way. He's important to our family. Okay, it's going well. So far. Oh, he's the he's gonna decide. He's the big boss. The chief. I hope you have not traveled far. So he's here then. The man in the picture. You want him very badly. Nice. We hope to trade with you. Why would they want to keep him? What? She found that? It's all right. Would you be willing to take this in exchange for our friend? No. What was that? We will not trade with you. You must leave us at once. Oh no. Why? Who was he? Where did that stone come from? Is it the guy with the head wound? She like found a stone? I can't seem to remember. I'm sorry, but Myrta is a hottie. <laughs> he really is. And where is his lordship gone? He was called back to Lynchburg on business, but we expect him to return soon to plan the wedding. Ready? Hey, son, Brianna's. She can marry a redcoat. She can, and she will. Ken, you're fond of marriage. Since you've had three yourself. But that's no excuse I to me. 
Didn't recall asking your opinion on the matter. You're welcome to finish your dinner. Ulysses will prepare your bed chamber. As you wish, mistress. Let me know if there's anything else we might do for you during your stay, sir. <laughs> Not even sure it's safe to stay out here tonight. I think the girl, the woman stones. that was kind of looking at the chief, she's gonna come and maybe explain something to them because, like, what does that stone mean to them? Oh, what the hell! We're here for the stone. Okay. Give it to us. We will not harm you. The sword. I'll consider giving it to you if you help us get our friend back. Very bold, considering we could take the stone from you by force. You could return later if you like. Try it again, <laughs> please. Why is this stone so important to you? Was your dad's? Many years ago, a man came to us. He would not tell us from whence he came. He spoke instead of from when he came. His name was Dawine Unuila. He was the Outer tooth. time traveler. He talked of war, afraid his actions would bring soldiers seeking revenge. Mm -hmm. My grandfather, the chief at that time, said that Otter Tooth must leave, for he would bring destruction. They painted his face black for death. The men turned toward home, but his voice followed them. They cut off his head so he would talk no more, but still, they heard his voice. It is said that one who possesses the stone has the power to see how my people's story will end, and that Otter Tooth's ghost walks with whoever carries it. Has he appeared to you? He has. Yes. I believe he came to warn me, people. Yes. And the stone will enable us to see what is coming. If you help us, then we will help you. Preserve the memory of the man who fought for your future. Help us. Okay. I wanted to look in on you. Good. Just in time, it seems, I hear there's a wedding to be had. Are you going to tell me what the devil you were thinking going to see Stephen Bonnet? Me and Myrta? Dad told me I should forgive him. And did you? As close as I could come to it. Oh, the couch! Such a nice couch. God, but what if they notice? Don't go, Jamie. It's gonna scream. Don't go, Jamie. It's all right. It's Jamie. You won't hurt you. Come to your house. I have the wrong to use again, but I've come to put it right. Come on. Oh, no. What's that? What's that? Don't worry. We don't care. It's not going to be that way. He's not gonna. Son of a bitch. But she's gonna be in trouble. I don't like that. Like, would she really do that for them? What's gonna happen to her? Like, to that girl. Like, is that worth? Was that worth it? The outsiders are not the reason so. for the strife. I only ask that we may leave. We are friend. There has been no fair trade. Dogs what do you want? Stay in the village. 
Why? What does it bring you to keep him? You know? Like, what the hell? They're just having like a, a hostage at that point. What the Come fuck? <laughs> no. No. Come on. We're set. I'm staying. What are you doing? Sorry, Tango. You're free to go. Stay, Roger. I mean it. Ian! I'm staying. Live your life with a Mohawk. I gave them my word. How can I part with you? Ian, no! I'll be hard for us both. I would say that you wished me to become a man of worth. You don't again how worthy you are. There are ways that you can use your influence. How? That's why you're here. Oh, <laughs> Joe, no. And you're always after something. You have that sleek it way about you, and you don't use many words, but in your head, you're always scheming on how to get what you want. Scheming? Truth be told, I never liked you. You used to descend on Leoch like a dark cloud of rain, staying well past your welcome, drinking our ale, and griping about everything. I cannot believe I allowed you to darken my door. Let go of me. Um, woman, why can't you... Yourself. Enemies to lovers. I wouldn't wish to. I did not expect that. I never liked you. Mm hmm. Liar, liar. Night robe on fire. How are you going to tell Jenny? Same as his uncle. Can we explain stuff to Always Roger? Been. Yep. Fucking bastard! Roger! No. Let him, let him do it. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's gonna pass the kind of test. What, what do you have to do to pass? Fight back? Oh, 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 poor core. <laughs> Get back up. something better than dog yeah. face <laughs> I mean, if you didn't even know who i was it was a terrible misunderstanding a misunderstanding claire oh. uh, brianna was attacked attacked what do you mean she means that after you left my daughter she was raped you must stick with the man that did it how could you think such a thing we didn't know. I love her. I didn't leave because we argued. I left because she told me to go. 
He doesn't even know the worst part. Well, not the worst part, but an important part. I can take her home. Back to our time. Brianna can't go back. Yeah. I don't understand. Not now. She's pregnant. She can't leave. She might have been able to when we first found out, but now it's... It's too late. What, what do you think of Leva? For hand fast, she's my wife. And now she's carrying my child. It may not be your child. wanted you to know, so you would have the choice. So I'm asking you, can you go back to him? Live with her. Say so now. Jamie, for God's sake. Just give him a moment to think. Yeah. Thank God that Claire is, is there. I know this is a huge decision, Roger. Not one you should take lightly. I need time. I need time. And you should take it. We have a long way to go. Daughter. So you better be sure. Like, he can think about yeah. it on the way back. Where are you going? <laughs> Giving birth. Looks scary. You've a fine girl, lad. I counted his fingers and toes myself. It's a boy. Aye, and we will choose his birthday wisely. <laughs> Is that a little ginger? Do I see a little bit of a red, red tint to the hair? <sighs> He's not there. Alive. Where is he? Where did he go? Roger? Excellency Governor Tron. Oh. Okay. What is that? The first mission is to hunt down and Murder? <laughs> no. <laughs> Kill the fugitive. Uh-huh. What if it's given? Yeah. Figures. Well, he's right out back. Should we just go right now? Get him and kill him? We'll get that over with. Why would he take Jamie for that? Because his other men are just too crappy? Like, they suck? Oh my god. We rescued Roger. We told Roger everything. And 
he oh my god my heart was just broken when he didn't come back with claire and jamie but at the same time it's like you know when i said oh he better show up it's like yes i want him to show up so bad but given the information that he just received him saying it's a it's too much like <laughs> yeah you go ahead take a little bit of time <laughs> because it wasn't a question of does he love brianna enough Because I knew that he loved her and you know, the face he had when he learned that she was pregnant, he was like, well, she's pregnant with my child. And it completely broke me like that, seeing his face, knowing what was coming after that, just kill me. Just fucking kill me. I don't think it took too much time for him to come back. And I'm glad he came back before they left because I swear to God, if he came back and then... Jocasta would have been like, well, they left two weeks ago. I would have been like, dude, <laughs> stop doing that. Take me to see my son. It just goes to show that um, Brianna really did find, you know how they say like sometimes a girl is gonna like fall in love with a man that reminds her of her father, kind of. It just goes to show that she chose and she fell for like the right guy because she was raised by Frank who took care of her and loved her even though he knew that she wasn't his. He's still like, in a way she was his, but biologically he didn't have like the responsibility to take care of that kid and yet he took it no wing like there's not even like oh she might be mine no he knew like this child is another man's child and frank was like challenge accepted bitch he took her and he raised her beautifully and we can we have to put respect on frank for that and i think that we've been through that you know we know that frank is amazing was amazing with Brianna and Roger there's a slight possibility that it might be his but all signs point well with what we know like Brianna saying that um I think that Roger didn't finish inside her and Bonnet did he's still like he's willing to do it so he is the kind of man that her father was so I think that's that's really cool because um she chose well and Roger's just he's a good guy but even if he decided that that was too much for him I wouldn't be like oh he's such a bad guy because he, the guy's just been fucking beaten and sold to the mohawk and then he learns that his girlfriend is pregnant with a kid that might not be his just that just take these informations all in your brain at once and he's like oh you know what there's a circle of stones like over there a little bit further away of course he's gonna be like do i just fucking go back but he loves her and uh there was no way he would go back so i love that I really do. And you know what? During the scene that, like, everything was revealed to Roger, I freaking loved how he was standing up to Jamie. He just, like, first he started to swing and, like, hit him. And I was just like, you know what? Just get it out. And even Jamie was like, I owe you. Come on. Give it to me. <laughs> But just the way he was talking after, just uh, answering Jamie. And when Jamie was saying, oh, you left her. And he was just like, yeah, I didn't leave her. I guess Jamie after that, he's just like, not more comfortable, but he's just gonna know that, okay, she's with a guy that he's, you know, he shows up because then he, like, Jamie's gonna see that he came back. Like, this guy shows up, he's not taking crap, and he's, like, very resilient. <laughs> so I love that because there's so much space for growth between the two. And that's going to be an interesting dynamic because it started really bad and it's still not super good. But will it get there? Because they're going to have to like live together, 
right? They're going to be in Fraser's Ridge. He's he's going to take care of his grandchild and he's married to his daughter. Like, I think, obviously, we'll stay in America and uh, it's going to be like... Jamie's gonna have to pretend like he's chasing Murta and the regulators. I don't think he's gonna really go after him. That would be, that'd be bad. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't think Jamie wants that either. But he's gonna have to pretend because the land that he's on has been given by that same dude. And we know that the revolution is coming soon and there's like this fire that's gonna happen and supposedly kill them. But you know what? What if Jamie just like doesn't go through with it and the fire is like their way of faking their deaths? So we have to have like the announcement in the paper. But they're not going to really be dead unless we do change the future. So yeah, okay, the otter tooth guy, it came back. And you guys told me not to forget about him and I didn't. And uh, it came back. And the stone, like, he he was a traveler, right? Claire kind of had a hunch when she found the skull. And she said, like, oh, it can only be, like, another traveler like me or something like that. And it came back. His stone, uh, he, he was trying to, like, warn them. Just like Claire. When Claire was, like, hey, my dudes, you're going to lose that war. Don't do it. Yeah, he was kind of, he was trying to save everyone, but he thought he was crazy and he was possessed. Mm, so he got killed. But they were able to bargain the stone, which in the end they had to keep. And I'm really, I'm just really bummed out for that, uh, that girl that was banished. Because, was it worth it? Would you really help them just to get that stone? Like, I get that it was... A bargaining thing but she even said I could just come back later with more people beat you guys and take the stone like what are you talking about so yeah I'm kind of bummed out for her because she they said you're never gonna be a mohawk again which kind of sucks and I don't think she would have done that knowing the consequences you know so and Ian Ian is with the mohawk I really hope that we go back and forth and we see him because I can't, I can't not have Ian. I love him and I love that he's been accepted because he was fighting back and he, he, he was like, he was jumping, dodging. He was amazing. And in the end of his face, he was so happy. <sighs> I love him. I'm happy for him. And I truly think that he's going to be happy with the Mohawk. It's just sad because he had to, you know, leave Jamie and Claire. But yeah, I it, it makes sense. Like, I'm not surprised by it and I'm not mad at it either. Oh boy, that was a season. That was definitely a season. For season five, what I'm expecting. Preparation for the battle. Maybe some conflict between Murtaugh and Jamie. Because Murtaugh's going to be like, oh, really? You have to, like, get me? Even though, even if Jamie's like, yeah, but I'm not really going to get you. Like, I'm just going to, like, I have to, but I'm not gonna. Murtaugh's going to be like, oh, I can't believe you're actually working with the red coats. Da, da, da. Jamie's going to be like, well, they gave me land. I'm doing this for my family, Murtaugh. And Murtaugh's going to be like, well, I'm your family. The whole season five. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> No, we're also going to see Brianna grow into her mother role. Mm. 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 I hope she's going to be like really happy with Roger. And I'm expecting the return of Stephen Bonnet. I'm telling you, this fucking rat is alive somewhere. He's hiding. So again, Outlander, amazing season finale. And we're going to be on to season five. Just crazy to think. Oh my god. Season five has 12 episodes. And then season six has eight. But I think someone told me that season seven is going to have like significantly more episodes. Like 16 to 18, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, because this one was cut short because of the pandemic, right? 
so well the sixth one I'm talking about but it's gonna be awesome I I don't know like when it's gonna air like the seventh season but I might finish Outlander like I mean finish season six before it comes out I don't oh my god I never want this show to end. I will see you for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.